Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of Ark and welcome to a new adventure. Today, we have an adventure with a special kaiju, one that is not this one. Mechagodzilla, where did you just come from? As we can see, Mechagodzilla is kind of jealous that he's not going to be the main focus of today's video. The main focus is my man Super Godzilla, which you will be seeing later. He's going to be fighting kaijus. We're going to check out his moves and just check out what he has to offer in general. And yes, Mechagodzilla, that does mean you are going to have to fight Super Godzilla. So who do you guys think is going to win? You got Mechagodzilla right here. Or do you have Super Godzilla? Well, we're gonna be figuring that out way later. First things first though, let's go ahead and find Super G. And would you look at what we got here? My boy, Super Godzilla. He looks like an absolute savage, let me tell you. The green, the purple, I just love how everything flows in this game. And the red eyes, dude. My boy looks like a menace. So honestly, I don't think any of the Kaijus are gonna be able to defeat this guy today. But one thing I do wanna show you all are his moves because I can actually become Super Godzilla and show you everything he has to offer here. So to start off, well, let's check out the moves. We got the left click, which is, you know, just a casual double punch. We've got a right click, which you see those dinos below me, right? Yeah, I apologize. I just killed every one of them. Uh, R.I.P. to the dinos. Then, of course, we've got the roar because, you know, a victory roar. We got to tell everybody what we just did here. We just killed some people with the roar. Did you see that? Uh, I and look how much area it covered. Yeah, okay. I can see why the roar did kill a few dinos. Then we have the Q move, which honestly, I forgot what that does. We're going to check it out together, though. Oh, okay. It's a fireball out of the tail. We've got a different version of the Q move. What am I doing? Is this a dance move? Okay, to be honest with you, I don't even think I meant to do this, but Super Godzilla might just be a sumo wrestler. We've got another version of the Q move, which is Alt-Q, and it's the belly beam. I don't know what Super Godzilla's beam is called, but if you know, you've seen it. We also have an X move here that does like a Super Godzilla punch or a Super Punch, and if we mix that with Shift-X, this is what he does right here. Okay, he's doing his dance move again. Stop it. It just says a punch combo with Shift-X, so let's see what happens. That's a one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Yep, yeah, that is a punch combo, all right. And I just keep dropping off dinosaurs on accident. I'm so sorry, guys. We've also got a mouth beam here. All we got to do is hit the middle button on my mouse. And as you can see, we are just spraying the ground with Godzilla's atomic breath. Or I don't, I don't know what it's called with Super Godzilla, but it's savage. And if we don't want to control Godzilla, and you know, I kind of want to have him as my pet, Super Godzilla will just follow me around here. Like, look, if I go way over here, Watch how fast my boy is. Yeah, you see me? Go ahead and catch up, big fella. He is quick with it and terrifying. Imagine if that thing was running after you. Like, currently, I have God Mode on, so he couldn't really do anything to me. But if he wanted to without God Mode, my boy could absolutely obliterate. Actually, hold up. Super Godzilla, you're coming with me because we're going to go ahead and find Mecha Godzilla again. Because he had he was running his mouth a little bit early. So let's see. I think he was somewhere back here, right? I, I think I spawned, like, right over here. If Mecha Godzilla is still just chilling over here, my boy is mad goofy. I think he was, like, right here before. Okay, yeah, I think he ran. Actually, no, nah, here we go. We found him. We got Mecha Godzilla right here. Remember all that mess you was talking earlier, big fella? Well, I got my boy Super Godzilla here, and uh, are you going to attack him? You just go look at him. I'm about to just tell him to attack him. Attack this target, Mr. Super G. And let's see, the first battle of the day with Super Godzilla. Who do you think is going to win? Super G or Mecha G? To be honest with you, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pick Super Godzilla for, like, all of these battles. I think his health is actually a lot better than all of them, but you never know. Maybe Mecha Godzilla... Bro, I love that move coming out of the chest. If anybody knows what it's called, let me know in the comments. But let's also take some time and just watch this happen. I, I absolutely love this game and the mods they have in it. They don't have, like, every kaiju ever, but they do have some pretty cool ones that you can do some pretty cool battles with. I mean, look at what's going on here, bro. I thought Mecha Godzilla was about to pick him up. Ooh, bro, the beam. It looks so good in this game, dude. The only problem we're going to have here with Super Mecha Godzilla. I said Super Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla can heal, but I don't think he was able to. I think my boy, maybe he's actually coming back to life or something. Well, what is all this green going on? Hold on, let me see. It says unconscious. Okay, so Super Godzilla knocked him out. Oh, yeah, I think he's about to get bodied. Oh, yeah, there we go. He just, he literally just erased Mecha Godzilla. I mean, he just disappeared right in front of our eyes. So congratulations, my boy Super G. You have won your first battle. Now, who else should this man fight? I, I mean, if he's beaten Mecha Godzilla that easily, I mean, I've got like Goji from 1954. Do you think that'll be a battle, though? I mean, look at my boy right here. He doesn't look like he wants to fight. You know what I'm saying? Also, I don't, you can barely see it. 
but I'm on top of Goji's head right now. So I think that's actually hilarious. So let's go ahead and test his moves. We've got the left mouse button, which is, you know, same as Godzilla, Super Godzilla's. It's a double punch. Then we've got the stop. That looked the same as Super Godzilla's too. What about the X move? Oh, a triple bite. Okay, we're getting crazy. Now, does this guy have an atomic breath? That's the roar right there, as you can see. And it does do damage. Doesn't do a lot. Because, I mean, there's dinosaurs on the ground right here. What about a Q? Can we do an atomic? Okay, we can. We've got the atomic breath. The first to ever do it. And, you know, it kind of looks trash. I can't lie to you. But, I mean, it is the first Godzilla ever. But enough of battling with him. We're about to be battling against him. Super Godzilla, buddy, just take it easy, okay? That's all I'm asking, man. It just Super Godzilla don't absolutely destroy it. I'm going to unclaim him. And here we go. I'm just going to whistle attack on this man right here. I'm so sorry. Already off the rip. Super Godzilla hits that super punch. I don't know what you would call that, but we're calling it a super punch today. And wait a minute. Goji's kind of, he's kind of biting the ankles of Super Godzilla. But at the same time, I don't, I don't really think that small bite is going to do much to the ginormous Super Godzilla. He's roaring at him. Hey, we already know. We already know it does do some damage. Did he just snap like Thanos and cause an explosion over here? By the way, remember those dinosaurs that were all right? Oh, there is a couple, actually. Okay, uh, do your thing, but we still got a battle going on. And to be honest with you, as we see some fire, I think my boy Goji is lasting not right. Well, <laughs> Goji just got erased as well. What is your health even at? Let me see what this man's health is even at. Let me access the inventory. Bro, he's got over... What, what number even is that? I think that's 2.5 million. My boy's got so much HP. I don't think anybody's going to be able to beat him, man. It's Super Godzilla. My boy's got Super in his name. Anyways, like I was trying to say, though, Goji definitely did a better job against Super Godzilla than Mecha Godzilla. So I feel like we should take out an even better Mecha Godzilla. And if you're not catching my drift, that would be this man right here. We got Mr. Kiryu, and we're off the rip going to show you some of his moves because he does have some pretty cool moves in this game. We've got the, you know, the left click, which is always going to be that. We've got the right click which is like a flying double claw. That thing is crazy. He's got the twin cannon moves, which you can see they are about to... Okay, wait a minute. That was not the twin cannon. What about this one? The Q might be twin... Twin cannons. Okay, well, that was just the beam instead of the cannon. And he does have the absolute zero cannon. I'm sure all my Godzilla fans know what I'm talking about there. That's not it. I don't even know how I did that, to be honest, but that was kind of cool. All I got to do is press Shift and X, and it should do what I'm talking about. Okay, there it is. It's Shift Q... That's not the zero cannon. You know, it's supposed to be freezing, but that looks cool as well. So what do you guys think? Can my boy Kiryu beat Super Godzilla? Does he have what it takes? Let's hear a roar just to hear what it... I can barely hear anything. That was weak. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, Kiryu, brother. I think you're about to get absolutely destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Whistle, attack this target, and here we go. The battle, Super God... Did he just dance on him? The dance move is a snap to an explosion. Okay, so that's kind of crazy. There's the cannons. So I, I couldn't control them for whatever reason. But Mechagodzilla finally let loose with the cannons. And this might be a good fight, actually. Kiryu versus Super Godzilla. You already know who I'm going for. I'm still picking Super Godzilla because he's kind of on my team. And he's doing some good damage. Damage, bro. I cannot, I couldn't figure out how to do those, those uh, cannons on his shoulders. But apparently, he knows how to do it. This man is hitting Super God. Did he just die? No, he didn't. He hit that chest beam, which I think with Super Godzilla is my favorite move in this game. Other than the, the combo punch, which he hasn't used one time against Super Godzilla. I would love to see, if anybody knows this, by the way, let me know if somehow we would be able to see like their health above their names. Kind of like in ARBs, where you can kind of see who's winning. If we can do that in this game, that would be so sick. Let me know in the comments if anybody knows how to do that. For right now, we're just going to focus in on this fight. Super Godzilla's kind of doing like the same thing over and over again, though. He's just roaring and then doing one of his punching moves. Not doing any of his combos or nothing. Meanwhile, Kiryu, he's, he's got some combos going on. He's hitting the double hands to the stabs with the hands. And then he... Oh, wait, I think he just lost his head. All right, yeah, I think that means that Kiryu is pretty much dead. And he has no defenses now. So pretty much, you know, Super Godzilla can just sit here and chew on some metal for the rest of the time. Super Godzilla is definitely going to win this battle. But what we are going to do is continue to watch until 
It happens. Um, all right. Well, Kiryu has been obliterated. Hey, don't hit me, Super Godzilla. I will, you know what I can take out? I got this bad boy. Or this one right here. I can just obliterate Super Godzilla. But do something like that again and you're done. Oh, wait, he's roaring at me. All right, my bad. I'll put it away. Who is next in this battle? Super Godzilla. Okay, well, I guess it's Destroyer. My boy just popped up out of nowhere. Started hitting his chest beam or floral beam, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and tell them. Attack this target right here, Super Godzilla. What are you doing? Are you scared? Attack this man. Hold up. He's not doing it. Okay, what I have to do then is become Super Godzilla and hit Destroyer so that they'll fight. Here we go. I'm just going to throw a punch real quick. And hopefully they fight. Destroy, are you running now, Big Oh, he's running away. I actually don't know what he's doing. I'm trying to do all types of moves right here. I've done sent a bunch of moves at Destroyer, and he's not doing anything. Let's feed him with a combo real quick. I just destroyed so many dinos on accident. There we go, I think. Oh, there we go. Okay, they're finally fighting now. Super Godzilla versus Destroyer. This is actually a cool fight that I don't think I've ever seen in, like, an animation or a video game or anything. How do you think... This would play. Destroyer, get back over here, man. The only problem here is if, like, Destroyer runs. Oh, my. Yo, those are so sick. The beam. I wish there was a beam clash. But I was what I, what I was going to say. If Destroyer was losing the fight, all he has to do is just fly off. Obviously, Super Godzilla, he can't fly. So he can't really catch up to that. But who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comments. Super Godzilla or Destroyer. Destroyer does have some really cool moves in this game. But once again, I'm going for my boy because he's on my team. I got to go with Super Godzilla. We're just watching the battle take place, though. I mean, there we go. The chest beam, my favorite move in this game. Now, what is Destroyer? Destroyer just throwing wings at him. He's not, he's not really doing anything else. I'd love to see how much health Destroyer has right now. Because I know that Super Godzilla has a bunch. So maybe this fight just, like, never ends. I'll catch back up with you guys here in a second. Because, yeah, things are going to be doing this for a while. All right, well, the fight has been going on forever now. How much health does uh, how much health does my boy have right here? Oh, wait a minute. He might actually lose to Destroyer. We're going to let this happen. I mean, if he loses to Destroyer, it was a fair battle, and Destroyer takes home the victory. We're going to be seeing here very shortly, because I think that Destroyer is doing a lot of damage to Super Godzilla. Let me check again and see how much damage it's been since we last checked. He's got about 600k. So, I mean, that... Okay, I can't move. Oh, help, please. You definitely don't want to be in the middle of that fight. I'm going to let it go on for a little bit longer and see if Super Godzilla does end up being destroyed. And we'll go from there. It looks like Destroyer is... Uh, did I say Super Destroyer? You know what I meant. We're, we're going to see if Super Godzilla gets destroyed. But I, I don't think that Super Godzilla is doing a lot of damage to Destroyer. I would check his health, but Destroyer in this game is untamable. Unless you do, like, Force Tame. So you can't really check his HP. I'm going to check Super Godzilla one more time just to see. 400,000. So he's definitely losing HP pretty fast. All right, well, the fight has been going on for a pretty long time. Now, as you can see, the weather has turned to rainy. And it's gotten a little darker. Let me check Super Godzilla's HP one more time before he's probably going to die. He's got 1,000 HP? Wait a minute, so he's about to die. Destroyer just beat my man super godzilla so whoever picked destroy you out there you were definitely definitely correct and yeah now he's coming after me no nah, i'm good i'm just gonna go ahead and dip actually i think this man is invincible so i'm gonna go ahead and destroy him how i will destroy him with the gun that only can destroy him take a seat destroy you and now let's get away from him man super godzilla's got some more people to battle by the way if anybody out there is familiar with arc mods let me know how to change the weather i would like it to not be rainy i, I don't know how to do that i only know how to change the time oh by the way i meant to uh, wait a minute is that showing a health bar oh maybe i've been tripping this whole time you can see health bars but i accidentally did something here i meant to spawn super godzilla and i spawned this man that's growing from beneath us right now i accidentally spawned shin godzilla so I guess we can go review this character real quick. As you can see, my boy just grew out of nothing. It was kind of disgusting. And he does have some cool moves I got to show you. All right, so for Shin Godzilla, if you click the left mouse button, you kind of saw it a little bit. You've got fireballs that come out of Shin Godzilla's mouth. Already starting off absolutely insane. But then you do the right click, and you've got a giant stomp that's going to probably destroy a few dinosaurs. Yep, I got three of them. My bad again. Then he's got moves like this. If you press Q... You can see that he does the, oh my, I just got a full screen of nothing but dinosaur destruction. 
but he goes from the smoke to the fire, and I'm actually gonna watch this outside of Shin Godzilla if I can. Okay, there we go. The smoke to the fire to the beam. And that's gonna be a move going up against Super Godzilla that's gonna do a lot of damage. And then one more move I'm sure everybody is familiar with out there. If you press X, we've got, what is that? Okay, I think that was a bite, Never mind. If we do this though, that's the move I was talking about. The back beams and the tail beam all in one. It is absolutely insane with Shin Godzilla. And I think it's his coolest move other than the, the smoke to the fire to the beam. All those moves are just really sick. And then, of course, we can't forget about the roar. Let's go ahead and hit that real quick before we spawn Super Godzilla. You know, iconic Shin Godzilla roar. I guess that's not a health bar. Let me go ahead and unclaim Shin Godzilla and have these bad boys battle it out. Whistle to attack, and there we go. Super Godzilla versus Shin Godzilla. I'm kind of excited about this one, but I'm a little more excited for the next one because we're going to do thermonuclear Godzilla versus space or not space versus super godzilla let me know who you think is gonna win that one and to do or to get thermonuclear godzilla you gotta feed legendary godzilla a nuke like it's so sick that they do that in this game and look shin godzilla already hitting the smoke to fire the beam so off the rip my boy is doing a solid amount of damage but the only problem with Shin Godzilla, he doesn't have nearly as much health as uh, Super Godzilla. So we'll see how it goes for him. But all of my money is going to be on Super Godzilla. Who do you got your money on? Let me know in the comments. He's got one more fight after this. So we'll see if he has a winning record on the day. If he beats Shin Godzilla, he will have a winning record. The only person that Super Godzilla lost to on the day just so happened to be Destroyer, which is like the strongest one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't really... Uh, could you beat Destroyer? Let me know who could beat Destroyer in the comments. Clearly not Super Godzilla today. Let me see if this is a health bar. Well, I guess since... Oh, you can see it. Okay, so it is a health bar on Shin Godzilla. And you saw he has like a quarter of his HP left. So I would definitely give this battle to Super Godzilla. Where where the health bar go? There it is. Okay, yep. Yeah, and look at it just going straight down. Super Godzilla is definitely obliterating in this battle. It is all unfolding nicely. I think Super Godzilla has to hit him like maybe two more times. And then he should be able to take this battle home. Let me just see his health bar again. Oh, yeah, it's literally on zero right now. And there we go. Shin Godzilla has been defeated. And he just gets teleported out. All right, you, you can stop, Mr. Super. All right, last thing I want to do is spawn my boy Thermonuclear Godzilla. I don't think I'm going to have him fight Super Godzilla. Let me know if you all would like to see that in another video. But right now, I just want to show you Thermo Godzilla. It's so sick. So here we are with normal Godzilla, you know, just traversing through the forest and whatnot. Let me go ahead and stand up for you. We got normal legendary Godzilla here, but we can do something special with this man. All I've got to do is go into my inventory, craft me a nuclear bomb out of nowhere. And now that we have that in our inventory, I just got to feed it to Godzilla, basically. And he will turn into that man, Thermo Godzilla. Watch it happen. It's so sick, dude. You can see I love all the details, like the colors and everything. And then the explosion with Thermo Godzilla, dude, it's so sick. And you know what? I decided against it. Super Godzilla has arrived. You don't even have to let me know if you want to see this battle. Because we're going to see it right now. The only problem with this, I, I know that Thermo Godzilla is strong, but it only lasts for like two minutes. So we're going to see if Thermo Godzilla can defeat Super Godzilla in less than two minutes. Because if not... The normal version cannot beat Super Godzilla. I'm just going to tell you that now. Currently, he's not doing enough to be able to beat Super Godzilla. He's just stomping on the ground, popping up these smoke clouds. I'm, I'm, is he running? Yo, Thermo, get back here. Okay, he is doing his moves. Not uh, not cool enough moves. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here we go. Hold up. Thermo pulse, maybe? Everybody relax. See what he does. Oh, oh my goodness. Yo, the thermo, I'm gonna call it thermonuclear beam or thermoatomic breath, whatever you want to call it. Heat ray, maybe? That thing was so sick. But did it do any damage to Super Godzilla? That don't really, th look, he's crawling towards him. Yo, Godzilla, you gotta do something, man. Let's see a stop. Okay, we've seen the stop. Didn't really do much for, what about the thermo pulse? I thought he had a thermo pulse. Well, let me see, I'm gonna try to get Nah, you know what? I'm going to let them battle. I was going to intervene, but at the same time, you, you kind of just have to let things happen in this. Oh, look at the roar. The face-to-face -face roar. That's kind of sick, actually. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the thermo pulse? He's getting hit with some combos. It was not the thermo pulse. It was like the heat ray thing again. And he is kind of lighting up Super Godzilla. 
But at the same time, how much health do we have remaining in this man? Let me see. Access inventory. He's got 40,000 HP left, guys. I, I don't see a world where Thermo Godzilla has a chance to beat Super Godzilla. At least in this game, from what we're seeing. And there we go. My Godzilla was killed by a Super Godzilla. You don't have to keep... Is he dancing on him? He just emoted and then Thanos snapped on us. All right, that's the end. You know what, Super Godzilla? Later on, we're going to have you fight some people that might actually do this to you, like over here. But for right now, that, that's all we've got. Super Godzilla destroyed everybody but Destroyer. Let me know what you think I should do in Ark. If you have any mods in mind, let me know in the comments. But for now, that was Super Godzilla. He says goodbye. I love you guys. Goodbye.